Well, after about 10 years of fiddling, we finally got turnabout's awning where we want it. I'm pretty happy with this combination. It's a good compromise between being an effective awning and an awning that we can strike quickly and get sailing. In that 10 years, we experimented with a wide variety of materials. Blue plastic tarps, duct tape, white canvas duct, all kinds of different spreader bars, bungee arrangements, until we arrived with this combination. The awning itself was dirt cheap to make. That whole thing cost us $90. And that was uh, cut to size, sewn, and grommets installed where we wanted them. The material is a vinyl coated nylon that typically is used for uh, float boat and houseboat covers down here in Tennessee. The forward spreader bar on our awning is a fiberglass sail batten. We use a stainless steel eye bolt, washers, and an acorn nut on each front corner. The bungee cord threads through the handrail and attaches to that eye bolt. We had to experiment with several different materials for this forward spreader bar to get the right curvature. Some were too flexible and bent too far down. Some were too rigid and stayed too high. This fiberglass sail batten worked out just fine. The midship spreader bar is a piece of one by two oak, epoxy coated. We use the same stainless steel eye bolts, washers, and acorn nuts to form the attachment loop. This time though, instead of using a bungee cord, we used a piece of quarter inch line and a bronze snap hook. The natural stiffness of the oak provides the tension and the proper length of the line gives the curvature that we want. The aft spreader bar is a piece of one inch diameter aluminum tubing with stainless steel eye bolts on each end. Each end of the aft spreader bar is tensioned by two bungee cords. The long one goes from the eye bolt down to a pad eye at the deck level. The short one goes to a rail clamp on the push pit. After we'd used the awning for a while, we found out that it didn't give enough coverage from the sun on the aft section of the cockpit, so we added this small flap you see here. The center of that flap is held in place by a stainless steel stanchion clamp, similar to the ones that you'd use on a stanchion to attach a lifeline to. The corners are tensioned by two bungee cords threaded through the, the eyelets. The lower corners are tensioned by bungees wrapped around the push pit. The first step in striking the awning is to release the bungees on the aft flap. The next step is to roll the aft flap around the rear spreader bar and bungee it in place. <laughs> 